Well, here we are again, back in the warm, comforting arms of the good old British procession. You know, I stood here 30 years ago in the dole queue, and Norman Tibbet told me to get on my bike. Now, well, they give me a classroom chair. That's what three decades of the slump boom economy has done for me. I now get lectured sitting down, instead of standing up. <laughs> now, you all know why you're here. We want to help you back into work. And who the hell are you going to do that? I mean, we're a bunch of unspeakable white trash at the arse of 50. Who the hell is going to want to employ us? I mean, there's no enough jobs for normal people, let alone us. Nonsense. I'm a blind black Muslim woman in a wheelchair and I found a job. Exactly. But we don't have your advantages. <laughs> what cultural boxes do we tick? Then create work. Be your own boss. Make it happen. Mr. Nesbitt, are you giving me the fingers? How did you know that? I felt the air waft. <laughs> That's impressive. Sometimes it's hard to be a woman Giving all your love to just one man He'll have good times, you'll have bad times Zip it, Mary. We're here. Oh, right. Oh. 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 Are you all right, Ella? How are you feeling? Oh, red raw. Normally for an arse this sore, I'd expect a good hotel with breakfast. Oh, well, look on the bright side. At least we've still got our jobs. Mrs Nesbitt? Oh, oh, sorry we're late. We've just had a few teething problems with our new eco-friendly transport fleet. Hi, it's got one saddle and two arses. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, it won't happen again. I'm sorry, Mrs Nesbitt. There won't be an again. I'm having to let you go. What? But, but you, you said you liked us. You said we were the cheapest cleaners in Govan since his lot went up. Aye. Are you racist? Is it because we're Scottish? It's nothing personal, but I'm having to cut costs. I'll miss your singing around the house. You're very good, you know. So what you're saying is you want us half invalidity benefit and back into work? In a nutshell. But there isn't any work. Exactly. I mean, so somebody's going to be unemployed, so it might as well be them that likes it. I'm afraid unemployment is no longer an option. Welfare benefits are costing the country a quarter of its annual expenditure. Oh, is that a fact? Look here. Here is my investment portfolio. A 20 pence piece, a used scratch card, and a slightly soiled Johnny that my mate asked me to keep for him while his wife was washing his denims. Thanks for that, Al. <laughs> so I'd just like to know, where is the benefit? Oh, this benefit I'm supposed to be getting. I'd spend my money on booze, on fags and lottery tickets. So what happens to that? The money goes right back into circulation. Hey, I donate that much money to the coalition. My gyro should be paid to me offshore. Mr Nesbitt, if you don't look for work, I'm going to recommend suspension of your benefit. Are you giving me the finger again? No. I'm sticking my thumb up my ass. I'm practising for being shafted. <laughs> Look, Mary. What? What do you think? The clients are always telling us what good singers we are. Aye, when we're cleaning, everybody's a good singer when their heads in a lavy bowl. And Armitage Shanks has got an echo like St Paul's Cathedral. Come on, come, come on, on, Mary. What have we got to lose? Hi. My boys are right. Come on. <laughs> right, you then. Let your meal crack the bike. That's it. <laughs> Catch a grip of yourself. You're telling me you're going to be in a girl band. Oh, aye, that's right. We're the pussycat dolls with a menopause. <laughs> now, you're going to rip the piss all night or what? Don't start that prima donna nonsense with me. <laughs> you haven't even got your first booking yet. Gigs, Rab. We call them gigs. Oh, we do, do we? That'll be... That'll be the wee in show business lately. There's your tea. Unless, of course, you'd prefer a big bowl of Smarties with all the blue ones taking it. Just the way we like it in the business of show. 
Oh, go and cut that out, will you? I can do with your support at a time like this. What about me? What about me, eh? I was doing a doll of us today and they read me the riot act. Have you any idea how badly you've got to bugger up to fail at being unemployed? <laughs> Bob, don't be insecure. If we win this, it'll be money. Oh, all right. Well, you thought your name yet? What are you going to call yourself? I've not really thought about that. Have you any ideas? Well, there's all these niche bands nowadays, aren't there? You know, the priests, the soldiers, the fishermen. You see where I'm going with this, don't you? So? I know exactly what you should call yourselves. Thank you, thank you, Marshall Gormley and his musical replacement, Hit! <laughs> OK, cleaning up in the house tonight. Would you please welcome the two, the only, the Scrubber! What do you mean, a low govern? He's only living in the corner. Prick alert, Rab. This could kick off big time. <laughs> hey, James, is steady. We are showbiz wives. Show a wee bit of diplomacy. Yes, indeed. We are the Scrubbers. I am uh, Mr. Muscle. Bend your mouth, prove it. <laughs> Show diplomacy. You got a ball handy. Right here. They insult their wives again. They're claimed. Right. Never close your eyes. Anymore when you kiss your lips, and there's no tenderness like before in your fingertips. Actually, I know that bad. Not too bad at all. I'd pump that redhead. <laughs> yes, one knocking to me. <laughs> what do you mean, one knocking to you? What did we just say? He's insulting your bloody wife. No, he's not. He's insulting your wife. He doesn't want to pump your wife. He wants to pump my wife. You want now? That's just a disgusting sexist attitude. <laughs> oh, Paul. What about a blonde? You want to pump her? No, she's fake. Look at her top lip. I wouldn't have a bird that had a heavier growth than I've got. She's not got a heavy growth. She's just had a bikini wax. How do you know that? I'm a man. What do you mean, my God? Sick bastard or what? This guy's trying to pimp his wife. <laughs> I'm not trying to pimp my wife. She's up for grabs. I'll have her if you don't want her. She's not up for grabs, you cheeky bastard. <laughs> You're bad. Aye, 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 I'm glad. So what are you saying? You wouldn't pump my wife. Aye. Oh, Defo. Oh, I need to get rid of you! <laughs> <laughs> you got your apology for Cushy Boy. It's your problem. You know, it's never too late to do something with yourselves. Look at your wives. Or is it the role reversal you like? They wear the trousers, you wear the knickers. Is that the deal? Well, it is for me. <laughs> I tried Ella's own last night. It was delicious. Oh, you only pumped Ella in years. I see a lure of showbiz rap. <clears throat> Success has made Ella regain her pomposity. <laughs> Which is how I got my idea. All right. And what idea is that? The scrubber sell sex appeal. We'll sell sex appeal. Such a job, I'm not going to stop my benefit. Hear me out, Rab. Hear me out. Right? You're a house husband. I'm a house husband. I give you three words. Hunks for hire. <laughs> Hunks. Stunning as you are, could I invite you to go and take a run and Donald Duck to yourself for just one moment? <laughs> it's all going to LA, Rab. Board housewife picks up the phone. Oh, gee hee, Mr. Hunk. It's Monday and I need a dirty big washing done. Hunk brings you into her house. Next thing he knows, he's not washing the sheets. He's changing them. You with me? And how many registered blind housewives do you think there are in Glasgow? Christ, <laughs> hey, look at it! He's seen the stairs. We might not be in the first flush, but we can always give nature a helping hand. I'm not 
sehr in Rotja. Am Verhangst von Haier. Hangst von Haier? Send him in. Hi there. I'm, uh, I'm Cristiano. I'll be a punk for high of the day. Punk? Hi, well, uh, Colin Farrell sends his apologies. He's busy collecting trolleys up as the other day. <laughs> as you can see, I'm, uh, I'm ripped. I've been on the steroids. Aye, my mummy's on them too since her period stopped. Did you get the hot flashes too? No, no, no. You don't, you don't get birth like this and HRT patches. <laughs> now, uh, what will it be? Some uh, dirty dusting, some uh, peekaboo polishing, or I can flex my pecs or wiggle my booty. <laughs> A choice of yours, sexy lady. Can you scrape shite out of the living room carpet? I didn't done a toilet when I was not looking. No, I think you've got the right end of the stick here. I mean, we're no real cleaners. <laughs> we're fantasy figures. We're, we're here to inject a bit of glamour into dull lives. Already got something for that room here. It's God's Mac. I see. That's how you get into this mess. Look, I'm worried sick. If I don't clean my act up, the social services says they'll take my wings away. Look at the state of the place. Nah, it's not going to be in grand designs any time soon, is it? Aye. Well, what about you? You're the same age as my granda. Yet here you are cutting about govern and a pair of gold lamy trunks, shaking your sad grey ass for pin money. You're exactly living the dream yourself, are you? Listen, I'm an unemployed alky, but see, when I pull on these trunks, I become Cristiano Hunk for hire. <laughs> Then when I take them off, I become rab, drunk for hire. <laughs> all right, all right. You're on. Where's the shite you need cleaned up? Don't get annoyed. But you're standing in it. Okay. Oh, it's fine from where I am sitting. Blood. Oh, you're a lovely, great big hunk of a man. <laughs> well, glad you're satisfied. I wouldn't go that far. You've only just polished my statuette. But at our age, we have to be thankful for small mercies. Isn't that right, fellows? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, <clears throat> it's been great meeting you all. And maybe we can do it again sometime, eh? Aren't you forgetting something? What's that? My pool. <laughs> it's clammy. <laughs> We'd like to see you rub a wad of duraglit up and down that. Would you? We would, Brad. You're gorgeous. <laughs> oh, thanks very much. Thank you. It's, uh... Well, I've always tried to look after myself, you know. Oh, we can see that. <laughs> Um, there's a slight overhang over your wee spangled panties, but it's kind of cute. <laughs> well, uh, helps keep the goods out of the sun, you know what I'm saying? Oh, oh, Her song bang on to you. Aye, it just needs you to sing quieter and to stand further back from the mic, then it'll be absolute quality. Well, I'm practically whispering as it is, Ella. Less is more, Mary. So much less is much more, eh? Stands to reason. <laughs> Aye, uh, maybe you're right. Here we go, ladies. Compliments of gentlemen at the bar. All right, girls. <laughs> How's about a wee song to get the party started? Oh, no, the no. No, no. We're waiting on our men. They've just snipped outside for a fag. Aye, and you don't want to hear us singing, no yet. Ah, go on. No, no. We're saving our voices for the second heat. Please, just one. 
No, no. No, no. <laughs> OK, sit yourselves. All oh, right, if it'll keep me quiet. <laughs> Rambit, I wanted to tell you something. I'm gay. <laughs> you look shocked. Well, I must say, for somebody that's humped a thousand women, some of them no even conscious, you've managed to hide your gain as well. I suppose I was just desperately confused. You know, I must have been groping for my inner nature. You got a light, love? How you can cut that out right away. Don't come on, no coward me, just because you've developed a taste for the salty stick. <laughs> Grab your big lug. This is nothing to do with sex. It's to do with being valued as a human being. Oh, it's just that, well, when I'm with Ramsay and Jackie... Oh. Ramsay and Jackie, oh aye. That'll be that lot of quaffered screamers you're cleaning for, likely. Nature's palette has many shades, Rab. Don't be so reductive. Reductive, hey? That's no you talk. That's them. I get this, I get this. When you're with them, they lie you up, eh? I bet you they flip with you, no? <laughs> And probably offer you biscuits. Coconut mallows from Waitrose. <laughs> but more than that, though, more than that, they make you feel wanted. They do. And feeling wanted is a good feeling. Am I right? All right. Am I candy for a bunch of geriatrics and I like it? They lost after my body, Rab. <clears throat> when I'm pole dancing for them, they slip wherever's originals doing my thong. <laughs> Anyway, there, I mean, I've said it. What about you? What about your day? Well, I scrape shite out of a living room carpet. <laughs> you know what? I felt needed tea. You're sicker than Al. <laughs> quite possibly, quite possibly. Come on, let's rejoin the ladies. Yeah, but uh, I think I'll get a miss. I've got an early start tomorrow. Aye, me and all. Gently! I must say, feeling want is a good feeling, no one. Aye. But no way they know. Come on. Hey, you can put that in all. <laughs> oh, good morning. <laughs> You can always tell there's a recession on, can you, when the poor start getting naked? <laughs> Stripping steel workers, pole dancers, third world hookers, every, every doll cue, a porn mag chorus line. <laughs> of course, David Cameron says we've all got to share the pain, but I don't see him spreading his butt cheeks in the meat rack down Piccadilly, do you? <laughs> you know, People, people think, people think that scum hate work. We don't, you know, we don't. It's jobs we hate. I mean, give me something I like doing and I'm, well, happy as a pig and shit. <laughs> Which is serendipitous, because I happen to be a pig and I'm presently engaged in scraping shite off the walls of Carly's council flat. <laughs> and do you know what? I can't wait to get there. <laughs> Oh! 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 What? And what time did you get in last night? Ah, oh, don't play the indignation card with me. Standing there like John Knox in a sparkly tanga. I can hear your prostate gasping for here. Oh, is that it? Is that, it? Is that your best shot? Well, I still appear to be homo erectus, so if you'll excuse me, I'll await in my work as a sex object. Oh, Rab, wait, wait, don't, don't go. I need to talk to you about my career. Your career? What about it? Well, after the gig last night, right, Ella and I, we were talking and, well, then we started arguing and, well, Rab, we've got artistic differences. Artistic differences? Oh, no! <gasps> oh, around here, that's worse than cancer. I'm serious, Rob. Aye, and show them, huh? 
I spent yesterday afternoon trying to prize a kid's trainer out of you, Ben, with a fish slice. <laughs> Artistic differences, is it? Get over yourself. Rob, look, don't go. Look, I'm just fear I'm going to do something stupid. I will and get yourself a job. <laughs> Did I actually say that? <laughs> Hello? You decent? You're in your bed, I'll come back. No, you're all right. Come in. Oh, you're well. <laughs> oh, you're, you're cleaning. Oh, I was worried sick. I didn't think you were coming back. This is Judgment Day. The social welfare woman's coming round. I said they'd be here for you, did I know? I know you did. But let's face it, Alkies are unreliable. Unreliable? Mm -hmm. And of course, you can set your watch by a junkie, can't you? Except if they saw your watch, it'd be off your wrist, straight down the pond and traded in for a bag of smack. I suppose you're right. But neither of us in a position to get in that high horse, are we? Aye, you'd better believe it. Now, if you'll excuse me, it's time I hit the vim. And you, you stick out I'll up your ass for a couple of hours, cos I've got work to do. We've got work to do. This is one of me when I was with Third Planet Reserve shortly before the tragic shoulder injury which ruined my career. Mm. Games all changed since then, of course, and for the worse, in my opinion, you see, players in my time, well, they didn't dive. I mean, you know, they had a deep sense of, uh, well, fair play and... Brad, what? no offence, but stop talking about the past. It's awfully depressing. Maybe you could lose that dark, satanic mill you've been puffing on for the past hour. <coughs> and a pipe. But I got it for you, sir. I, I thought it might help me fit in, you know? Poor Brad. You have a very quaint idea of the senior citizen life, don't you? I don't get it. I mean, I thought he's fancied me. I thought he's liked me. That's why I came round early. Sorry, Brad. Orlando! Hot today, isn't it? Oh. You've got my car. Aye, and if we ever want JB Priestley round to do the iron, we'll get in touch. Bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Improvements here are very encouraging. I can see you've made a real effort to create a clean and healthy environment for your children. I think congratulations are in order for you and your... Hunk. That's been great. It's helped me through this. Uh, just in case you're wondering, uh, this is actually platonic. <laughs> I mean, I know it looks a wee bit dodgy, but, well, I'm actually a time serves gigolo. <laughs> this is just my workplace, no? <laughs> <laughs> Once again, congratulations. Hey, just a wee minute, hen. I just let you say thanks very much. This means a lot to her, you know. Mm. She'll know let you do. Are you a hope? Let's just keep our fingers crossed, shall we? Aye. Cheerio. All the best. Yes! There you are, you see. What did I tell you? <laughs> All that hard work paid off. No, no, no. Hey, <laughs> oh, who are you phoning now? My main man. You bring a few jellies in. I'll invite a few mates up to celebrate. Oh, come on, hen. There's other ways to celebrate. I might have wanes, Rab, but I'm entitled to life. That's right. But him and his brother are entitled to life and all. Listen, I can fold away my belly and pack up my sad grey pimply arse and get my salute here. But they can't. You make that call, and I'll make a call and all to social bloody services. Okay. Okay. Now you're right. Hey, now we ain't got a cloth. Cause I made that speech standing in a fresh toilet. What? <laughs> I can only tell you. I'm only kidding. Hey, let me see your dragon. 
Ladies and gentlemen, we'd now like to sing for you The Greatest by Mr. Kenny Rogers. <laughs> Little boy in a baseball hat Standing in the field with his ball and his bat With his ball and his bat, with his ball and his bat <laughs> Stop milking it. This is supposed to be a simple wee ballad. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought I was in a band called The Scrubbers, you know, plural. I didn't even realise it was one great big bloated mega scrubber. Oh, I see. It's all coming out new, isn't it? Oh, the jealousy and all the spite. I used to like that song. To you wrap the big welder's tonsils around it. Oh, really? Well, I can't help it if I'm a better singer than you. <laughs> that wee boy, I'd forget about his ball and wrap that bat round your larynx. But you mean like this? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, back by popular demand, Marshall Gormley and his musical replacement, Hey! <laughs> 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 Hi, the good one, Jimmy. He's still taking the old pink band. No. It's all over. They traded me in for a younger model. No, the fickle swines. They threw me out like a first wife. It's dented my self esteem, Mum. I'm having to question my attractiveness. Ah, away. No, no matter your attractiveness, you're still a fine figure of a sleaze bag. <laughs> Thanks, Ralph. That, that means a lot. Yeah, no boy. Jimmy. What? You want me to lay you up one last time? Would you? Hey. Hey, boy, that joy. Here you go, pal. Oh, oh, there I go. The way I see it, it is my civic duty to live fast, die skint, and leave a dirty big fat bustle of a corpse. Forever onward. <laughs>